part is over, Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I want to apologise. I know that millions of people across this country have made extraordinary sacrifices over the last 18 months. I know the anguish that they have been through, unable to mourn their relatives, unable to live their lives as they want or to do the things they love. And I know the rage they feel with me and with the government I lead when they think that in Downing Street itself the rules are not being properly followed by the people who make the rules. He's finally been forced to admit what everyone knew, that when the whole country was locked down, he was hosting boozy parties in Downing Street. Ah! Is he now going to do the decent thing and resign? Yeah! I thought it was a, a work event, and, and Mr Speaker, uh, I, 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 re I, regret, I regret very much, I regret very much that we did not do things differently uh, that evening. And Mr Speaker, as I've said, and I take responsibility and I apologise, uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, but as for, as for his, uh, his political point, I don't think that he should uh, preempt the outcome of the inquiry. And he, uh, he, will have, he will have a further opportunity, Mr Speaker, I hope, uh, to question me as soon as possible. Is the Prime Minister really so contemptuous of the British public that he thinks he can just ride this out? I, I, regret, I regret the way uh, the event I have described uh, was handled. I bitterly uh, regret it and wish that we could have done things differently. And I have uh, and will continue to apologise for what we did. But, Mr Speaker, he must wait uh, for the uh, inquiry, which will report as soon as possible. I do think it would be better if he waited until the full conclusion of the inquiry, until the full facts are brought uh, before this House, Mr Speaker, and he will then have an opportunity uh, to put his points again. Can I say to, to him, Mr Speaker, that he should wait he should wait uh, you know, before he jumps to conclusions, Mr. Speaker. A, a lawyer should respect the, 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 uh, the inquiry. Uh, I, I hope that he will wait until the facts are established and brought to this house. He should wait until uh, the inquiry has concluded. Uh, he should study it uh, for himself. And I will certainly respond as appropriate, and I hope that he does. But in the meantime, uh, yes, Mr Speaker, I certainly wish uh, that things had happened differently on the evening of May the 20th, uh, Mr Speaker, and I apologise for all the misjudgments uh, that have been made, for which I take, Mr Speaker, full responsibility. Will the Prime Minister finally do the decent thing and resign, or will his Tory MPs be forced to show him the door. Yeah. Prime Minister. Uh, with the greatest respect to him, I think that he should wait until the in inquiry has concluded. So, for once, can the Prime Minister do the honourable thing and resign for the sake of the public health message and for standards in our democracy? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Mr Speaker, I, I, I can only repeat what I've uh, said, and I, I understand uh, the uh, feelings he has about the effect of this pandemic on, the, on this country, and I, and I, I, I certainly grieve for uh, everybody uh, who has died and who, and who, and who has suffered. Uh, but on his, on his political point, uh, can I propose that he, he waits uh, for the inquiry to report? Does the Prime Minister now realise that it is clear to all that, while he may not understand how to be socially distant from others, there is no doubt that he is morally distant from the rest of us across these nations, and the best thing he can do now is go resign, Prime Minister. Yeah. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, I, I, I thank the uh, Honourable Member for the SNP, and I, I repeat the point that, uh, that I made earlier on. I do not think that he should uh, preempt or anticipate uh, the inquiry. So how does he think he can still maintain the one rule for him and another for the rest of us? Yeah. He cannot and he must resign. Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, I refer to the answer I gave earlier on. We all know the Prime Minister was sacked from two previous jobs for exactly. life. So can he explain to the House why he believes that the great office of Prime Minister can be held to a lower standard than those previous jobs that he was sacked from. Yeah. Prime Minister. Uh, well, I welcome the, part, the, the, the point that the Honourable Gentleman makes. I, 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 in, this part, in, the, in the partisan spirit with which I think it was uh, intended, uh, I, I don't agree with him, uh, but can I suggest to him respectfully that he waits until 
uh, the inquiry is concluded, which I hope will be as soon as possible. And now he's making fools of every single MP who cheered him earlier. Every single one who goes out on the radio and television to defend this shower of shenanigans. Would it not be absolutely despicable if, in the search for a scapegoat, some junior member of staff ends up losing their job, yeah, yeah. but he kept his? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, Mr Speaker, I, I, I really think that, uh, with all humility, I must ask him uh, to, wait, to wait for the result of the inquiry, where he will have abundant opportunity, Mr Speaker, to question me again and to make his party political points again. But until then, Mr Speaker, I am going to ignore his advice. So will the Prime Minister, for the good of the country, accept that the party is over and decide to resign? Mr. Mr. Speaker, I thank him for his uh, question. Uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, and I, I respect the, uh, the point that he's making, but I must say I, I disagree. And I would ask him on the, on the, uh, I would ask him to wait and see what the inquiry says. And I will, I'll be very happy uh, to talk to him then.